this is an eczema this is an eczema none of these are eczema if you want to know what they are and how they can be treated keep watching <laughs> back to my channel i'm dr ivy and if you're new please subscribe we talk about health beauty and lifestyle and no i didn't match this hair with my scrubs it was coincidental <laughs> actually did actually picked this hair because of my scrub oh my god i'm so vain anyways let's get back into today's video today we're talking about something really really you know common we've probably experienced this before you know one time in your life and you've you've thought oh maybe i'm dirty or i'm not having my bath properly or it's because of hygiene or you see somebody with it and you're like mm, this person is probably dirty but not exactly it happens to the cleanest of us this is pityriasis vesicolor also known as tinea vesicolor it is not eczema eczema is totally different there are different types of eczema if you want me to talk about eczema leave it in the comments and i'll do that for you but this is caused by a fungal it is a superficial fungal infection caused by a fungal called malassezia yes <laughs> it's on the screen because this pronunciation is quite tricky it's here and um this is the normal fungi of your skin it lives normally on your skin yes there are normal bacteria and normal fungi that lives peacefully on your skin but due to some factors or some environment they tend to overgrow and cause infection just in the case of malassezia it causes when it overgrows over proliferates it causes pityriasis vesicolor factors that causes this fungi to overgrow include hot humid weather especially in this part of the world is almost always hot this can cause the fungi to increase and cause the infection also excessive sweating if you're somebody that sweats a lot you can be predisposed to this infection if you have weak immune system maybe you have other diseases that you're managing like hiv hepatitis organ failure it can actually lead to this infection because your body cannot fight little little infections if you are oily skinned you are more likely to have this infection than a dry skinned person and also hormonal changes like the one that occurs in puberty so with puberty there's increased sebum that's oil and it can lead to this infection what does pityriasis vesicular look like you've seen it you've had it it's really nothing new <laughs> so it looks like patches on your skin depending on your skin tone so it can be light brown patches or dark brown patches or pinkish patches pinkish patches on your skin it can also be scaly especially when scratched it can be scaly it can be itchy but usually not often but whenever it's itchy it's like really really mild when you see a doctor how we diagnose pityriasis vesicolor is just by looking at it most times so we look at it it has this characteristic feature we can also take skin scraping whichever area of your skin is affected we just take a little scrape from it and run it in the lab to confirm our diagnosis but most times we just know it treatment of tinea vesicolor completely treatable and curable you want to use antifungal medications like the topical creams or shampoos ketoconazole cream ketoconazole shampoo or trimazole cream or you want to use your selenium sulfide you also want to use oral medications for stubborn or widespread infection at home you can do some home remedies like keeping your skin dry wearing loose fitted clothing um, avoiding hot environments especially for people that you know are very very active you know at the gym or you're working so you want to keep your environment cool and dry and also 
um, avoid heavy oils especially for people into skincare avoid heavy oils you can opt for water based product rather than oil based product let me say this exfoliating or scrubbing your skin excessively is not going to remove this fungi though exfoliation is important it helps you remove dead skin cells from your skin leaves your skin smoother and brighter but it's not going to treat this infection so you might want to tone down on the scrubbing you might have treated tinea vesicola but it came back you are not alone there's actually a very high rate of recurrence especially in this part of the world that is always hot what you can do is using ketoconazole shampoo as maintenance every week to help reduce the recurrence rates but if you've tried everything used everything i've said and it still isn't working or it's not going you should see your doctor for more intense treatment We've come to the end of today's video that was quite short right i don't know if you like this you know concise videos or you want the in-depth version let me know in the comments and if you've had this condition before share your experience it's nothing to be ashamed about and please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video till then stay safe